taken off the boat table. Yeah, take it off. We're live. I think we're good. I hope we're good. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Jonathan and Jess. Hope you're doing good today. We just went live on my profile and then my phone died immediately. <laughs> we are on the road right now. We got two sleeping kids in the back, praise God. Hope you're all doing well. It's our, it's actually our anniversary weekend. So three we're years, three years <laughs> and two kids. <laughs> Well, anyway, I just want—we just want to jump on here. Felt the Lord inspire us and tell us just to share kind of an update of what He's doing in our life. A couple words that we felt in the Spirit for people, and then we also want to partner with somebody, partner with you in prayer. Anybody, maybe it's hundred people on here. We just felt the Lord wanting us just to make a call. If there's someone on here that is believing for something supernatural that only God can do. And, and if you're if you're that person, you know what I'm talking about. Only God can do it. We want to partner with you. So if if anybody uh, resonates with that, just drop in the comments. Just you know something you're believing for, or just that's me, or whatever. We want to pray for you, um, and we're going to get to that in just a second. Um, in fact, we've had a lot of people reach out to us recently, just about their loved ones that's struggling whether in addiction or just falling away from the Lord. And we want you to know that <laughs> our very lives are a testimony that God wants to do it and he wants to do it again and again. He did it in us and he will do it again. So just really quickly, I want to share an update and then we're going to jump into that, jump into prayer, jump into some words that, that we felt the Lord specifically tell us about. Uh, but, you know, if, if you've been following us, Jess and I's number one focus our full-time plus focus is one just seeing people made whole by the gospel of Jesus Christ encouraging people in the in the gospel and helping kingdom-minded uh, people invest to steward the kingdom of God to see the kingdom of God expanded through uh, multifamily syndications and real estate and we're in, a, in the middle of a six-week deal uh, with that um, uh, in a mastermind and it's been incredible but um, just a couple things the Lord has been putting on my heart lately is is and, and teaching me lately this is something that he's personally been teaching me and and that's simply uh, the intense call that he gave to his church where he said if you believe in me you will do what I do and even greater things and man, I don't know about you, but that shakes me. First off, if I believe in him, I'll do what he's doing, what he has done. Everything he's done, I'll do it. And it just, I guess for me, it just wakes me up and says, come on, let's ride. And then he says, and greater things. And I just want to, I feel like somebody on here today, God's told me, is in that same boat with me because. I think so many times we cap ourselves and we call, and we allow doubt and, and think, oh, you know, that's great for the pastors. That's great for, you know, those that whatever. I don't know what your excuse is, but God is calling us to dream bigger. I believe he's calling his church to think on another level, to think as if nothing is impossible with their life, whether that's direction. Some people are just kind of living in a place of like, I'm okay with the current, but God is not a God of, hey, Vanessa, but God is not a God of just the normal. He's the God of the new season. He's the God of uh, leveling you up. He's the God of upgrading you. And we are called as the church to press in and say, God, I believe that. And I'm asking you to take me to that next level. And then looking for that in your inner circle. Like, who is God calling you to go to? Because, I, you know, a lot of people say, well, if it's in your family, you know, your dad, the, what he did. You know, my dad was an entrepreneur. And they say, well, he gave you shoulders to step on. Well, Jesus said that 
You're called to do what I do and even greater things. You're called to step on Jesus' shoulders. You're called, you're called to step on anyone who's gone before you in the faith and go to the next level. We're called to steward the inheritance that God's given us, not just as your individual family, but as the body of Christ as a whole. Anybody in the faith that's gone before you, you're called to step on their shoulders and go to the next level. Reach for more. Any great mentor, any great influencer, any person. Because Jesus himself set the precedent. So, I hope that that makes sense and Jess is going to share something yeah I just felt like that and I'm driving so I'm going to be on the road but I just even with that like what God's been speaking to me uh, is don't be afraid of making those mistakes like don't let mistakes and fear of failure hold you back from those God dreams yeah because failure and mistakes are just stepping stones to getting to those places and I believe when you change your mindset towards failure and towards mistakes, you see like, oh, this is just a part of the journey. This is just a part of the story. Instead of shaming yourself or beating yourself up or feeling like, oh, I'm just not cut out for it. Like that's just a lie from the pit of hell. Like God has equipped you and those things are just a part of the journey. And so I feel like you know, it's important to press in and press mm. on. So if you're in that season right now where you feel like, oh, I'm, I've taken five steps back or I am, you know, where, wherever you are, you feel like you're down right now, God is going to use it to strengthen you. I feel like everything that we've done personally, even in faith, like on the mission field, in ministry, in business, like every mistake that we made or every setback has made us stronger and had a, gave us a better mentality, gave us all these things. So, and I do want to share this thing about it. Um, I believe it was Sarah Blakely. Uh, she's a huge entrepreneur who started Spanx, I believe. And she said, she said her dad would, at the end of the day, they would have dinner together and her dad would ask what, what mistake did you make today? What did you fail at today? And it was kind of like threw them off at first, but every time he did that, he celebrated them because he he celebrated that they tried. Not necessarily that they failed, but they celebrated the, the fact that they faced their fears and they tried. So I just feel like the father is saying that to you today is don't be afraid to, to fail. Don't be afraid to yes. uh, experience those bumps. Yeah, so if you are on here, we're just going to release a few words to people. Like I said, I've, I've gotten some um, prayer requests lately, a lot of prayer requests lately. And a lot of them had to do with family members, sons, parents, cousins, whatever, that are just struggling in drugs or struggling in just every, many kinds of ways. And if, if that's you, I just want to pray for you right now because... God is telling you, just by nature of you coming across this video and clicking this, I want you to understand you are going to be the voice of change. You're going to be the voice of encounter. You're, you, I'm just prophesying this over you. You are going to release breakthrough when you speak. You are going to release breakthrough both in your life and those that you're calling out for, that you're crying out to God for. And I just feel the burden of somebody's heart right now that is just aching for breakthrough. Aching for breakthrough in, in your loved one and in even in yourself. And I just speak that right now. That all that God has done in me, all that God has done in Jess, all the breakthrough we've experienced, I just release right now in Jesus' name over you and over those that you're calling out for. That God is put on your heart. You're not in that person's life just to be another body. God has strategically allowed this situation to happen for you and strategically allowed for you to be in the relationship that you're in with that person to speak. Now, I'm not saying barriers and boundaries are critical in this season, but God is going to allow you 
the faith, and I just impart it, and I just speak it and prophesy the faith to move that mountain in Jesus' name. And I just speak that over you. And I know that resonates with somebody because the Holy Spirit put it in my heart for you. So, yeah, if you just want to drop any any prayer request, any whatever you want to do, just receive that word in Jesus' name. We want to partner with people to see the supernatural come. God is saying, greater things will you do. That scripture in and of itself takes some faith. But I just declare right now, where two or three are gathered, and there's at least two or three on here right now, I just declare breakthrough. And I declare that that, that scripture will truly be received at the core of your being in every area you walk into. Yeah, yeah and I also feel like somebody is needing clarity right now. Like I just kept seeing like murky waters, and I feel like the Lord is saying, that you are to just keep walking and the water will get clear. And as you walk with Jesus, as you take his hand and focus on him, like the crystal clear waters are coming. So just keep walking. And I, I feel like it's specifically like, I don't know if it's like for a school or like the next job. I just feel like God, it's like a door. Like you're making a big decision right now. Um, and I, I feel like God is just saying, continue to walk with me, continue to soak in my presence Come and on. everything will become clear. <laughs> like, and I even specifically, like when you stand still in a river, like the water, like all the dirt stops being stirred up. And so I just feel like Jesus is saying, stand still with me mm, in the presence and it'll, it'll all settle. Wow. All the craziness will settle and you'll get the, the answer that you need. So just press yes. into the prayer in the secret oh. place and just stand still, be Holy still before God. the Lord and he will make your path, like he will make the decision clear and be with you every step Hallelujah. of the way. Hallelujah. Wow, come on, Emily, yes. I felt the presence of God on that. Come on, he said stand still and everything, peace will begin to come over you. Peace will begin to come. You know, there's so much power in peace. It's a third of the kingdom of God. In, in, in the Bible it says, in Romans, the kingdom of God is about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. One third of the kingdom of God is peace. And I just see that. I just visualize that. I feel that. That as you be still and soak in His presence. I was just talking to a, a really good friend of mine yesterday who's struggling with some things and and it all came down to the presence of God when you give room and you push everything aside push the things that are are coming against you aside just push everything off stand in his presence and the peace will come in and destroy things it's insane when you take a step of faith and say instead of Focusing on that, I am going to allow the peace of God to come in and things just start aligning with his presence. So anyway, I'm just going to pray to close us out. But if there's someone on here that needs healing in your body, Jesus is wanting to come and touch you right now. Whether that's healing in your mind, healing in your heart, or whether that's physical sickness and pain. I just want to just release a prayer over you. We've seen way too much, and I know you've seen way too much to not press in for this thing. And I think sometimes we forget about all the things God's done, and we and we allow doubt to creep in or just complacency. And I just want to call myself, call us all out of that. So, Lord, right now I just speak healing and power to come over every person that would watch this both in the live and the rewatch. In Jesus' name, I thank you, God, that you're no respecter of, uh, of, of geography. Lord, it doesn't bind you. It doesn't bound you to, to uh, touch somebody. So right now, as someone watches this, we just declare the power and presence of God in Jesus' name. Yes, over Vanessa, God, for the, the power of addiction to be broken right now in Jesus' name. 
healing right now in Jesus name we just command any demon or anything that's that's tormenting any any plague right now I command it to come off in Jesus name any bondage right now come off in Jesus name every bit of of and every person watching I just declare over their body it would come into alignment with the kingdom of God in Jesus name into everything that's in heaven I release upon your body right now in the power of the Holy Spirit have your way Jesus bring peace and joy and power in Jesus name Holy Spirit have your way I just also feel like I felt like the Lord is just saying purity that that the devil has tried to convince you that you are impure that you are dirty and I just feel like the Lord he sees you as his precious daughter and his precious son like there's no dirt on you the blood of jesus has washed everything away now past and future and i just i just declare that right now over over you or whoever this is for that that you will see yourself the way that jesus sees you Hallelujah. that you are pure you are clean you are beautiful you are loved you are worthy of the dreams that God has for you. And so I just break off the lie. Yes. And you can even speak this out loud. If this resonates with you, just say this out loud. That Say, I break the lie and the belief that I'm dirty and that I'm too far gone right now in Jesus' name. And just receive his purity. Receive his love. Receive his eyes. His eyes are a burning flame and a yes. burning fire. <laughs> And it, it refines us. It refines everything. No dirt, no sin can stand in his presence. And you already have access to his presence because of the blood of Jesus. So I just feel like the Lord is just releasing that and releasing joy mm, and love, like unconditional love. And he wants you to see, he wants you to see yourself that way yes. and be kind to yourself that way. So, Lord, I just bless whoever that is for, and I just pray that you would give them the grace to receive it and the grace to walk in that path right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Woo! Amen. Come on. Woo. Well, if there is anything else, we are feeling the Lord wants us to partner with people today in the supernatural. So don't, just don't hesitate to just drop things in the comments or even shoot us a dm whatever we want to partner with you we believe god is saying right now he wants to do the supernatural in your life if that resonates with you or you know someone that that does resonate with share this video actually share this video anyway <laughs> we want to bless as many people we love you guys let us know how we can be a part of what god's doing in your life yes all right I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.